Hey folks and welcome back to the Mortgage Farmer here at the Halifax Hilton. Although today I'm not at the Halifax Hilton, I'm at the Mortgage Farmer World Headquarters in the Triangle of North Carolina here in my office. I wanted to get this video out and I just haven't had time to make it back to the farm. I don't live on the farm, it's, uh, it's a ways away and I hadn't had an opportunity to get back up there to film the intro. So we'll just do it from here. Many of you have asked me if you could get some updated videos on the use of our Cultipacker. You may remember the video, I'll link the video down in the description for the building of my $70 Cultipacker. Well, we went through a season with it, we planted all of our food plots, we had great success with it. I'm going to give you some video footage of it right here. I apologize for having to stitch these things together, but I didn't take a unique video of just the Cultipacker for purposes of this video. I had to pull actually preparing the seed bed and planting our various food plots or through the process. Uh, so I'm going to uh, jump in and let shot. you see that information. So I will go ahead and tell you at the, the time that we were forced them, to plant, uh, it was really wet. We would normally not want to plant when it was that wet. It'd be great if it would rain, you know, a half an inch or an inch immediately after we planted. but. When you don't live on the farm and you have a busy schedule, you just have to accommodate. I had a window of time to get in and get those food plots in, so I wanted to get up and do that. I think you will see how the Cultipactor reacted to the really wet soil, and you're going to see me talk about the solution for that as well. So come on along with me as we jump back up to the uh, Halifax Hilton and see that Cultipacker that we spent a whopping $70 on in action. Come on over and let's take a look at it. Cultipacker did. This soil is very, very damp right now. Uh, two days ago, we got a little over two inches of rain. Uh, I just disked this. Normally, you would disk and it might even sit overnight and it would be dry out a little bit, but even with it wet, it still did a great job. We got great seed to soil contact, but the best thing of all is because of the amount of moisture that's in this dirt, this stuff should jump up out of here and uh, we may we may have a really good food plot here. I'm looking forward to it. So we finished with this one. Let's move on to the next one. Come on, go with me. I have just finished disking this particular property. We're getting ready to put our seed down and run our Cultipacker. So hang with me a minute while I get all that together. Maybe I'll put this in speed up mode so you won't have to watch it in, in regular time. But we're going to put out our seed and then we'll come back and talk about it. We, we planted it. We're getting ready to use that new Cultipacker again. I've already used it three or four times now, but we're going to Cultipack this. I'm going to let you watch me Cultipack this. We'll come and finish up with our food plot here at the North Tower. my cult packing here we are all done with this one all we got to do is wait on a little rain it's supposed to rain tomorrow we should be in good shape the one thing that I will mention about the cult packer is when you are running over really wet soil very 
damp soil like I'm doing right here, it has a tendency to pack in a little bit on those ridges. I have a solution for that. I'm going to create a bar and I'm going to run a bar across in front with spikes that go in between each of these gaps to help them cleaned out. But for the most part, I don't culture pack when it is this muddy, but we just haven't had an opportunity to get these food plots in the ground. We've had a window where we've had about a week without rain. It finally got dry enough for me to get in here. It's supposed to rain again tomorrow. So like I said, normally I wouldn't be culture packing when it's this wet, but uh, I've got a solution for it. All in all, I would have to say after uh, three of my five food plots, I have been very pleased with the results of my $70 culture packer. I hope you've enjoyed it. Come on, let's go to the next one. Okay, folks, we have moved from the North Tower food plot where we were working, and we've moved over to the food plot that we actually call the East Cutover. Uh, there is a ditch, small creek, that runs through the middle of two uh, cutovers that we call the east and the west, and we're on the east at the moment. So I've got to do a little cleaning up here of some uh, limbs that we trimmed, and uh, then we're going to pull the disc out, and we're going to start disking this thing. So I'll let you guys hang with me as I do just a little bit of cleanup work, and then from there we will uh, run the disc. So hang with me. Okay, we have moved over a couple hundred yards, about 250 yards, 300 yards that way. It's where we just were in our east cutover. We've moved to the west. We just had to go around, and this is my west cutover. And again, this is about a half acre food plot here. So we're going to finish up what we've got. So hang with me. It won't take me long here to get this finished up, and uh, we'll go from there. So we have uh, finished all that up. Again, I apologize for having to stitch it together like I did, but hopefully you were able to see the Colter Packer in action. There was a lot of positives. We didn't have any negatives with the Colter Packer itself. As I mentioned in the videos, the one thing that I am going to do that will be an upgrade for the 2024 version is I'm going to run a bar across the front of it. We will uh, put some sort of teeth in there so that it will get in those grooves on the culture packer and clean that out whenever we are using the culture packer with really wet soil. When it's not super wet, works perfectly, it doesn't stick at all. We had great success with it. The food plots looked amazing this year. Hopefully we've got some videos that will plop in in the future showing you what those food plots looked like. We appreciate you coming and visiting. Wish you'd hit that subscribe button for us. That's how we grow this channel. We want to send out information that you will enjoy. Again, I don't live on the farm, so it's sometimes problematic for me to get some of these videos out of the farm life from the mortgage farmer. I put out a few more of the business side of mortgage farmer than I do from the mortgage farmer at the Halifax Hilton, but we have a good time anyway. Anyway, from the mortgage farmer at the Halifax Hilton, We'll see you next time.